Yay, I love Ghastly. I used to, well, I used to not feed that into Gengar, actually. I thought that Gengar was a bit overrated, but then I like... <laughs> what? That sad AMV of Gengar waiting for his owner to come home for years and years. And now I love Gengar. And I must give Gengar a good, good loving home. <laughs> and never abandon him. I know, he has such a sad backstory. I don't know, he reminds me of Snail. Ah, uh, it makes me so sad because... Well, you guys know... Well, maybe you remember, maybe you don't remember me talking about Snail. And how he was... Well, he lived with the family for 10 years of his life. And then, um... Yeah, he got taken to the shelter. And he was at the shelter for, for two months. Which is like... one. Of, he was there for one of the longest times of all of the cats because nobody wanted him because he's 10 years old and he has health like um well he's not sick but he has chronic health problems that have to be managed by um a special diet so ah no one wanted him and ah, it makes me so sad to think about <laughs> i'm making you sad i'm sorry it's it is sad but you don't have to be sad because because I give Snail so much love and I hope that he has a happy home. I think he likes it here. I give him everything he could possibly want. He has his cat tower next to the window and he has a window seat that he doesn't use <laughs> because he prefers the cat tower. But um, yeah, and he gets all the cuddles that he wants. He's just such a sweet cat and oh, it makes me so sad to think about him at the shelter. But... <laughs> Um, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, if you are in a position to to rescue cats, it's a good thing to do. Obviously, not everyone's in that position, but you know, <laughs> there's a lot of cats out there, or any animal really, that needs homes, need loving homes. I don't know why no one wanted him, because he's literally so sweet, and he just wants to cuddle and snuggle and I thought that people love cuddly cats the most because that's what I love <laughs> I really wanted a lap cat and he's such a lap cat no <laughs> thank you guys you do not have to say say such kind things to me but I appreciate it <laughs> I don't mean to say this like oh look at me I'm, I'm so look how good I am oh, I adopted a cat <laughs> It's not no me like that. I just mean, well, I, I love him a lot, and I'm very happy to have had the chance to meet him and adopt him. He's the sweetest cat. He's so sweet, and he brings so much joy to me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it makes me emotional to think about it too much. Actually, when he. Uh, at the shelter, when he sat on my lap for the first time, I almost did start crying right there. <laughs> because it was just so sweet and heartwarming, but at the same time, I felt so bad for him. But, yeah. Wah, wah. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good snail. <laughs> Give him a little chew for us. I will, I will. <laughs> yeah. Clover 2, Clover 2. Cannot neglect the love for my my old man, <laughs> my sweet old man Clover. <laughs> he's he's not as snuggly as Snail. That's just how he is. But he's a very sweet boy, and he has so much personality. <laughs> Being his his sassy, sassy old man, grumpy old man. <laughs> Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I have to, I have to get off this tangent. <laughs> I have to get off this tangent. Because of that is too... Don't have to send. You don't have to send. No more cat talk. No. <laughs> Thank you. You guys. You guys. No more cat talk. No more cat supers. No, no, no.